The empty bread aisle looks like a scene from any nor'easter in New Hampshire, but this is a Houston grocery store where Kate Newcomb now shops after moving from Sunapee to Texas in November. And it's like the zombie apocalypse. Like there's no gas, there's hardly any food. There's no milk. Kate watched the Buffalo Bayou rise outside her apartment, covering front steps and cars. That's her friend floating on an air mattress. But she says she feels blessed with shelter, power, food, and the water she stockpiled. Well, I'll be good for, you know, at least I could probably make it through the weekend if I had to. Nothing I've ever experienced before, but, like, again, I still feel very fortunate that, you know... Like, I know a lot of people that lost everything. Last week, Pembroke native Colleen DeJour told us she'd ride out the storm in this Houston suburb with her adult sons tonight. She says they're safe. Two streets over have been evacuated, but we, we have been lucky. Everything is underwater. Um, it's just hard to describe. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. It's horrible. And she says finding food is a struggle. I went to the grocery store today, which is around the corner from my house, and there was a four-hour wait to get in. And then once they let you in, you could only be in for 10 minutes. And Colleen says people waited in that line, even in the pouring rain, just to get their hands on food in the Houston suburbs. Live in the studio, Gene Mackin, WMUR News 9.